In this video we're going to set up some precise automated lighting using the new digital clock. To get started you're going to need some sort of base power. So in this case we've got a medium battery output into a single electrical branch. To get started you're going to need an electrical branch, a digital clock and a memory cell. Put the electrical branch somewhere on your wall with the digital clock and the memory cell above it. Take power from your existing circuit into your power in on your electrical branch and then we're going to take the branch out into the power in on the digital clock and we're going to connect the power out to the toggle on the memory cell. To configure the digital clock, add an alarm for, say for instance, 1930 and add another one for say 830 and these are the turning on and turning off times turn off the alarm if you don't want it to make a sound and hit save lastly we're going to take power from the electrical branch into the memory cell and I'm just going to set up some lights take power from the power out or the output as it's called on this particular device into your lighting circuit and just use the pass through to daisy chain the lights together So what we have here is power from your base coming into an electrical branch. The power is being sent to the memory cell and the branch is going to the clock and from the clock where we do our configuration it's sending a signal to the toggle which toggles the power on and off. Now we just have to wait for it to be 1930. And there we have the lights coming on. And there we have the lights turning off. I just want to thank somebody who commented on my one of my previous videos and pointed me towards the memory cell as a solution to uh, getting these lights working. Doomsday Gundam, thank you very much. Uh, anybody else, if you've got questions about this circuit, please feel free to post them down in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.